Hallo, goedemiddag. Ik hoop dat goed met jullie. Ons gaan vandaag um, voor de eerste keer een contant betalingsjournaal oorboek naar die algemene groeiboek. Oké, okay, so in front of you, um, I'm showing you the general ledger with all the different accounts, and you will notice that the accounts they do have numbers already. At a later stage, I'll be telling you how do you get this numbers um, and how do you decide whether you use a B or a number but for now it's easy the numbers is given to you okay so now what we need to do we're going to take the cash payments journal and you must post it to your general ledger okay so if we are here let you the contant betalings journal the cash payments journal okay so there's the totals already okay so we're going to start with the totals and post them one by one and after we've posted the totals we must have a look in sundry if there's more accounts to be posted okay maar kom ons maak het lekker makkelijk vir ons self as jy die kb hier oorboek is daar basis twee reels wat jy gaan toepas wat het baie makkelijk gaan maak okay reel nummer 1 Jy gaan bank oorboek na die kredietkant toe. Hoekom? Omdat bank minder moet word. Ok, now remember this is the cash payments journal. So this represents all the payments that this business made during July. Ok, now if you make payments, your bank obviously will decrease. So if you look at the bank account, um, I showed you in the bank account, it increases on the debit side, the plus is on the debit side, and it decreases on the credit side. Now, because we're working with a cash payments journal, your bank needs to be credited. So when we're going to post bank, we're going to post it to the credit side. Okay, the minus staan on the credit account, in the bank moet minder raak, hoekom, want het kom uit die KB hier uit, wat beteken betalings, mis die geld betaal uit die bankrekening uit, dan word hy minder, en hy word minder aan die credit card. So dis jou eerste reel. Jou tweede reel sê, wat van die ander rekeninge dan? Bank, gaan ons na die credit card toe vat, wat van die ander rekening? Die rest van die rekeninge word oorgeboek na die debit card toe. So the rest of the accounts will be posted to the debit side. So only bank will be going to the credit side. All the rest like wages, consumable stores, stationery, etc. All of them will go to the debit side okay so let's start with bank okay so i'm gonna just use the total of bank there's the total i want to take it to bank now if i look in the general ledger my bank the number is b4 so i'm just gonna put in there b4 and i also added credit you don't need to put a cr there but i'm just sh showing you to remind you that it's going to the credit side okay so i want to take this amount to the credit side of account B4, which is bank. Okay, so kom ons gaan in die bank, ons gaan sit om daar aan die credit kant, daar sy, en wat is die reel, wat is die datum gebruik ons as ons oorboek? Ons gebruik, as ons een kolom totaal, soos bank, loone, verbruiksgoedere skryf, ons is ons die totale oorboek, gebruik ons die laaste dag van die specifieke maand. Okay, nou hierdie maand is juli, so juli het 31 daar, toevallig die maand waarin ek bejaar. So, ek gaan daar skryf die 31ste juli 2013, en dit kom van my cash payments journal, KB hier, daar so, en dan wat skryf ek daar? Nou, jylle sal ondouw, toos die KO hier oorgeboek het, het ons geskryf totale ontvangst is. Nou gaan ons skryf totale betalings. In Engels, it's called total payments. Ok, so there's your bank. Okay, so you've posted bank, and now we're going to start with the rest. Okay, so remember the rule say, bank goes to the credit side, all the rest to the debit side. So wages, if I quickly have a look there, wages is in two. So I'm going to take in the 5,600. I'm going to take it to the debit side in two. Okay, so come on, let's it in. In Luna, you can debit card, that's my bedrag. 
Hij is weer kolom totaal, soos weer die laatste dag van die maan. Hy kom weer van KB hier af. Wat gaan ek nou daar skryf? Ek skryf altyd hier in die naam van die ander rekening waar nie die bedrag ook is. Nou hierdie geld het ons uit die bank uitgekom. Dit is deel van totale betalings. So daar skryf ek bank. Ok, right. So jy sal sien, net bank is aan die kreditkant, al die ander gaan nou in die debitkant wees. Ok, dan is ons gebruiksgoedere, ek skryf nou sy nommer, en 315.000, ek gaan na verbruiksgoedere toe, en weer die selde story, op die 31ste, want hy het sy eie kolom, 15.000 in bank, aan die debitkant. Right, dan, laans verbruiksgoedere, het ons skryfvoeltes, hy is N4, hy gaan ook na die debitkant toe gaan, hy het sy eie kolom, totaal, soos ook op die laaste dag van die maand. Ok, en dan begin ons nou, nou gaan ons kyk na al die inskrywings wat nog verder die so in die verse is. So ek gaan net gauw hulle vir jou weis, ek het hulle net ook gehaaid, nou gaan ek hulle net vanuit, ok, Nou sê jy sien, hier is baie, en hier is ons hier die verse kolom, die daar is gronde gebouwe, wisselgeld, toeristen, water en kracht, en so koos, daar gaan nog aan. Ok, nou die reels bly die selde, met ander woorde, bank was na die kreditkant toe, elk een van die rekeninge, gaan ons na die debitkant toe vat. Maar die enigste verskil is, wat sy datum ons gaan gebruik. As ons hierdie in die diverse oorboek, gebruik ons hier die laaste dag van die maand noodwendig nie. Ons gebruik elke keer, die spesifieke datum. In other words, like for instance, land and building, land and buildings came on the third, so we're going to use the third, there's your amount, and the number I'm going to write in there is B2, because land and buildings is B2. Okay, so now I'm taking it to land and buildings, also on the debit side, remember the specific date now is the third, Also bank there because it's also part of total payments and then the 40 or the 440,000. Okay, right. So we gaan ons een vir een vir hulle vat. Wisselgeld is op die vierde 4000 rand. Okay. Ons gaan wisselgeld toe. Cash flow on the fourth. 4000 rand. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show all of them. All of them will be on the debit side. But I want to show you quickly, I want to show you equipment. Okay. So, if you look at equipment, there is one equipment. Um, and this equipment was on the 4th. And if you continue looking down there, on the 14th, there's another equipment. 7,000 rand. Now, what do I do if there's more than one equipment or whatever account you're using? Okay, as that two is, then you have to be in a sonar look what. In other words, we can't do the 54 and 7,000 of the other ones. We can't do the apart from the fact that it's in the verse. Okay, so we can't do the 54,000 on the fourth part and we can't do the 14 on the 7,000 on the 14 part. You've got to take both separately. Okay. So, in your equipment account, there's going to be two. Okay, there's one on the fourth, and there's one on the fourteenth. Okay, and um, you can also see here that um, I didn't write July 2013 there again. You don't need to write it twice. If you wrote it there, it's not necessary to write it again. Okay, so... Equipment was B3, so there I'm going to just add in B3 and B3. Okay, so I'm not going to do the rest now to save you some data, okay, but you need to take auto electricity, advertisements, repairs, telephone, drawings, salaries, bank charges, all of them goes to the debit side. It's only the bank that you're going to post to the credit side. Okay, right, so this is how we post a cash payments journal. And um, you'll be getting an exercise where you're going to be asked to post it yourself.